since I have been learning a lot under Dr. Shigaki, I mean, he was the first person to really teach me Tenkara in depth. Uh, I have taken on his fly as my own. That's the fly that I use the most. Um, I've made a couple little tweaks to how he ties his flies. Um, you know, he'll, the main one being that he puts his, his feather on top of the hook with the tip facing back. I prefer to have mine facing forward because then I can wrap it back and finish on the, on the end. So I'll, I'll tie one of those uh, quickly. I don't think it, um, you know, I think his, the video of him tying it would probably be a little bit better. But I'll just show my fly really quickly. So I just make a head first. And one interesting thing that can be done with um, these flies is that you can make variation just based on you know the hackle that you're using and the amount of thread you put on the on the body. If I want my fly to be a little bit heavier, I can just make a lot more wraps of thread and that actually makes it substantially heavier. Uh, if I want it lighter, I'll just do fewer wraps. Or right. if I want it bigger, instead of using a bigger hook, I can just use a bigger hackle. Um, so all those things, I mean, there's you know uh, about a dozen variations that can be done just with the two materials that you need, which is hackle and thread. So I put my feather facing back, um, and then I also I like to have the curve uh, facing up. And when the when you're wrapping the feather around here, um, sometimes the, the dull side wants to be on the back. And to get around that, just change the direction that you're spinning the, the hackle. And now the dull side is facing forward. And you can, you know, one of the other variations is just the amount of hackle that you're putting in there. I'm making it a little bit more heavily hackled right now for no particular reason. Uh, and one interesting thing about these flies that people should keep in mind is that there's nothing very specific or particular about the feather that one is using or the amount of thread. I mean, this is just something to get done very quickly and, you know, go fishing. It's not, it doesn't follow a specific and exact recipe. Um, you can use any type of feather you want, any part of the feather as well, um, and tie it. And I'm going to make this with a slightly heavier body too, just to have one uh, slight variation from Dr. Shigaki's fly. I'll make a fatter body on the back here. And this will help the fly sink a little bit better. It might give it a little bit more visibility in the water. That's probably good. And then to finish off, uh, just uh, forgot the knot is called and blanked out. <laughs> but just a series of hitches here, half hitches I guess, and that's it. And you know you can put super glue on top of it. Um, I did five half hitches, and I think that probably the fly will be lost before it comes apart. <laughs> um, but this is my variation on the Ishigaki Kebari.